and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Zara and um, my channel really consists of talking about fashion uh, clothing styling um, a little bit of beauty so um, without further ado let's get on with the video so um, on today's video I'm going to be talking about my most used designer handbags that I own um, these are the bags that I use sort of every day when traveling, running errands, um, going to work. Uh, these are my kind of workhorse bags, if you like. First up is my Prada Nylon Re-Edition bag. This bag I use probably the most, actually. I bought this... When did I buy it? I bought it... Just over a year ago I think um, and honestly like I was a bit unsure like would I wear it but honestly I wear it all the time I sometimes like wear this um, when I'm traveling on the tube and then I'll have another tote bag just because this is really easy I can put it over me and my hands are free um, I also quite like to use it when I travel because you know this is kind of this sorry you can see there's like the more sporty look with this handle or strap on it however it detaches so you don't have to have that on there at all and then you can use this as an evening bag which is really useful when you travel so you've kind of got your day look when you're sort of walking around and then you've got your evening look and then you also have this detachable little I call it airpod holder but I also stick things like um, a lipstick or mask in there and then you can reattach it if you want on there um, I don't tend to do that I tend to leave it either like that but you see it's a a nice little can't see, but a nice little evening bag um, I think the reason that I use this bag as much as I do is one because of the size it's lightweight um, but I can fit all my essentials I can fit my phone my um, wallet my travel card um, and a little bit of makeup in there it's also great when I have my dog with me because my hands are free and you know she's kind of moving around all over the place I sometimes have to pick her up because she's not the biggest fan of walking um, and also because I haven't got a great back like I have problems with it it, it doesn't um, weigh my back down color to black goes with everything and I'm also not scared about marking it which I am with certain bags I get one because it's black can't see the marks second of all you can't scratch it although it does have some shiny surfaces on it you you know if you have scratched it i i mean i certainly can't see the scratches on it so i think that's why i love this bag so much um and why it's been so useful to me this last year so i would say that's a definite worthwhile investment if you're thinking about buying um the prada nylon re-edition i would say it's money well spent although it isn't leather which what put me off uh, initially but honestly this bag is fantastic and I can't recommend this bag more so while we are on the smaller bags I thought I would share my next most used bag this is my vintage Chanel flat bag um, it's from I would say probably the 80s um, it belonged to my mother um, and she gave me them in three different colours and I probably use this bag more than my other Chanel bags. I also use a white one quite a lot too but I quite like the red because it gives a little pop of colour um, and I like the fact that it is a crossbody bag and you know you just can't get enough of Chanel. It doesn't hold an awful lot it holds my phone um, a very thin credit card holder and probably a lipstick is all I can get in there but I can get my essentials in this bag 
um like again like i do with the prada bag i very often will wear a tote with it particularly if i'm like on the tube or something like that i like these bags because they just fit close to my body and i have all my valuables in the in the bag and you know unfortunately there are some hip pockets on the train so it's always important that you keep your valuables safe and somewhere where it's hard for them to get to so that's why i really like those bags um you also want to have a little bit of glamour too you know um you don't always want to be wearing like super boring bags but if you are going to buy an expensive piece um i think these are two great little bags i think chanel still make um the smaller flat bags and as I said, like you can, what's great is that you can get all your essentials in there, but if you do have more stuff, then you know, you can always carry a little tote bag with it too. My next most worn bag would be this uh, Dolce & Gabbana bag. Um, I actually can't remember the model's name of this. I bought this probably, I must have bought it about eight years ago, I would say, and it honestly has been a workhorse of a bag. It's a nice size, so you can use it like as a, you can just carry it like, you know, hot, oh, sorry, you can't see, but like this. Um, I equally put it over my shoulder like that. It also does come with a shoulder strap, but you can get so much in this bag and Although it is leather and it's, you know, reasonably heavy leather, it doesn't weigh me down too much. Like I said earlier, I've got back problems, so I don't like to have a bag that's super heavy, but then I can't lift it and I, then I get back pain. Um, this bag has been fantastic in, in that reason. Like I can get a bottle of water in here, um, all my everyday essentials, an umbrella. It always rains in London, unfortunately, so you do need an umbrella. Um, and you know, maybe a pro probably a couple of other little bits in there if, if you need. Um, and it's, yeah, it's black. Again, the leather is a hard wearing leather. It's not lamb, so it doesn't scratch easy. Um, so you're not scared to use it. The gold hardware, I can see there are some marks on there where I have used it, but they're not too bad and it kind of adds to the bag design like it's not too shiny so you don't see all the, like it's not you're not too precious with using it is what I'm trying to say it's got the little studs at the bottom um what else is there and like, another feature I love about this bag is that it's lined in leopard um which is you know quite cute and you see you've got like room for your phone you've got a little back pocket in there and also because it's like on this sort of drawstring it does give you a little bit of room to expand if you've got a few more things in there than normal um my next bag is a slightly larger bag um but it is a lightweight bag it is the dior tote bag um now this is my bag i kind of tend to wear when I have extra stuff with me, which is, you know, where I was saying that I often wear my Chanel or my Prada um, with a tote bag. Um, because it's canvas, it's not super heavy to lift. So when you put the stuff inside, it doesn't get too heavy. Um, so like if a day I'm traveling around and I've got my laptop or you know, maybe I'm going to the gym afterwards to work out or do ballet class, like I will stuff everything in here and it doesn't weigh me down too much or I can, you know, it's a, it's a great bag from that point of view. I don't tend it, to use it to go supermarket shopping, but I do use this bag when I have more things that I need to carry. Again, the color's great. Um, I'm not recommending you throw a bottle of Coke over it or something like that, but um you know it, it doesn't show the marks on there it doesn't scratch um i do take good care of all my stuff um but you know there's the occasional thing you can't avoid a little mark a little scratch 
Whereas with all these bags, they are fantastic in the sense that I feel that I can wear them without worrying I'm going to damage them every time I take them out. So last but not least, um, this is probably one of my favourite bags too, is my Hermes Kelly 32 in black Tobo leather with silver hardware. Um, you know, it's always been a dream of mine to own an Hermes bag and when I was going to purchase one, I wanted to, I think what was important for me was to get the classics first. As much as I love the colours, I just felt I wanted to get something that I was going to, you know, love forever um, and something that I could use. And thankfully, like, this is a good leather and again, it doesn't mark easily. Uh, the silver hardware does scratch unfortunately a bit um with use there's nothing you can do about that it is what it is if you want to use your bag which is what i want to do i didn't buy this just to keep it i bought it to wear it um it's the perfect size for me particularly when i travel so if i'm flying somewhere i like to use this bag when i travel i can get all my documents and all my essentials in there easy to open, close, check everything's in there. It has the shoulder strap, which is what I tend to use when I travel with it. Um, and if I'm just, you know, kind of out and about, I will also use it. It's not just my go-to bag for when I travel, but it's super chic, it's smart. It is heavy, but it's a manageable weight. But this for me was just the perfect bag and I hope to collect more one day in the future, but for now I'm super happy with this and honestly it was one of the best purchases I made. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments below what are your most used designer bags and what bag was your favourite from um, the bags that I showed today. And if you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I love to hear from you and I hope to see you very soon on my next video. Bye now, for now.